Hello, this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! I thought Soul Blazer was the only game where the enemies would run into my sword if I held it out in front of me, but apparently I was wrong. Alright, it's boss time! Keith is ready to whip him in shape. So, first things first, we want to buff ourselves up. The Raldos on the bottom there have a spell that I want to cast on myself. The way you can do it is you, when you draw a spell, I forgot to go over this earlier, you can cast it the round that you're drawing it in. You don't just have to stock it and then cast it in the next round. So if there's a spell that you want to use, but you don't want to take the time to uh, draw it and then cast it in the next round, you can just cast it right away. So that's pretty nice. The boss is also susceptible to sleep, but it has a pretty high resistance to it, so... Ah, nuts. What happened to my summon there? Yeah, Protect will help us against the physical attacks. But yeah, I mean, you still want to try and put the boss to sleep if you can. Let's uh, buff up Shiva. Probably the last time I'm going to be summoning for a while. Come on. There we go. Good job there, Squall. Keith just still uh, try to put the boss to sleep there. Now, the thing with Protect, or well, one of the things about Protect, is that um, it's pretty good to junction to your Vitality stat, but we're going to get something even better than that in the very near future. So, I'm not going to worry about that. So now, pretty much, what I want to do... Oh, um, hold on a second. There we go. You want to have Squall attack, and then have Keystus put the boss to sleep. But actually, there's one other thing I want to do with this boss here, and that is stock up on some blinds. Um, yeah, let's just have Keith just continue to try and put it to sleep. You basically want to have about 10 blind spell charges. That'll be pretty good for now. Uh, let's see what that other spell he has is there. And continue trying to put it to sleep. If I do successfully put it to sleep, then I'm going to uh, use my GS. But otherwise, I'm just going to stick to my physical attacks. Nope, still no good. But anyway, that was Shell. That's a pretty good spell to junction to your spirit stat for your magic defense. But again, we're going to find something a lot better in the near future. And really, you don't need to worry about your... Uh, what is it? You don't have to worry about your vitality and spirit until disc 3, really. So don't really worry about it at all. I'm not worried about it. But yeah, once you get the blinds, then just... Go all out. Eh, I'm gonna miss summoning GS. Oh well. No, actually not really. The summon animation takes way too long for the amount of damage I get out of it. But I don't want to put the boss to, or I don't want to wake up the boss, but well, it looks like we got him. That was a little faster than I thought. Yay. We get 16 wizard stones. I'm gonna put those to use very shortly. You get a lot of ability points. Life magic are fine. Excellent. Are you okay? Who are those guys? And who is she, anyway? Maybe they're, like, tourists or something. I suppose it's not entirely inaccurate. We'll learn more about them later. Not right now, though. Well, thanks for the extra training there, Keistus. Got some new spells. But we also got those wizard stones. Let's put them to use. Now, one of the abilities that I have learned for Shiva there is Ice Magic Refine. Here's how you refine magic. You basically use the ability, select an item, and you can make your spells directly from it. Like I was saying earlier, you could get water spells, but um, well, I guess I just didn't feel like doing it. But anyway, we can make Blizzagas way early in the game. You can do that with Thunder Magic Refine or Fire Magic Refine. I like Ice. That's just me. So let's give that all to Squall. Let's refine all of them. Got 80 Blizzagas. That's okay. That's going to be pretty good for junctioning to Strength, which I'll be doing in the near future. Let's see how that works on Strength there, just to take a brief look. 44 from 20. That's pretty good. That's more than double the amount of damage. What I want to do is I want to split them up and... Uh, what is it? I want to uh, 
give some of the squaws, some of the quistas, and draw up to 300 sleeps and silences, mostly to use for later. So I'm going to take a moment to do that and be right back. Okay, I got all the spells that I wanted with uh, Sleep and Silence there. Um, they're not really useful that much for now. I mean, they are a little bit, but they're really more useful late game for junctioning. So if you don't want to do that now, you can wait on it. It's okay, but it's not that critical. You actually don't have to ever get that. But, you know, I can get by on my own, unlike Keistus here, apparently. I thought she was supposed to be the teacher, but I guess not. I thought you had to learn to be, you know self-reliance as a mercenary but i mean isn't that what mercenaries are they kind of work on their own they're like bounty hunters are we going to be bounty hunting in this game i don't think so okay well it's been a long night you know got drunk chased by dinosaurs and giant mosquitoes you know might be a good idea to get some rest uh we were fighting mos giant mosquitoes yeah, as if he's going to believe that. Oh, we got... Didn't I already have my own room? Oh, okay, I guess they moved my room or something. So, but yeah, I think, like, before we had, like, a double dormitory or something, and now we have a, a single dormitory or something like that. And it looks just like the old room we had, except I guess it's, like, a mirror image or something like that. Well, all right, let's just get some rest and, uh... Enjoy life as a seed. Huh? What's going on? Wow, that was fast. We're going to Timber! And meet by the front gate. Okay. Should we get changed? No. No, apparently once we graduate, they don't care about our uniforms. But we did get Weapons Monthly April there. It's the first magazine that we get that tells us how to upgrade our weapons. I actually got a, month, a March magazine earlier, but that just shows you how to forge the weapons you already started with, which is weird. But anyway, it shows you the materials that you need in order to upgrade your weapons. Kind of like Chrono Cross, except they don't tell you how to get those materials. They just tell you, here's what you need, you figure it out. And plus, you don't even need the magazines in order to upgrade your weapons. You can just go straight for endgame weapons, even though you're not supposed to get the magazines until Disc 3, which, well, they fixed that in Chrono Cross, so that was nice. You can't, well, I suppose you can sell them for money, but not a whole lot. Uh, what is money in this game? Gil? Or is it still gold? I think they were calling it Gil in Final Fantasy VII. And I know they changed the naming convention for the spells, like now it's Blizzaga instead of Ice 3, but they didn't change that in Final Fantasy 7 either. Whoa, there's Val. Apparently they don't have a dress code for the job. Or maybe we're going to be spying on people and we need to kind of blend in with the crowd. So we've got a guy with a small jacket, a girl in a skimpy dress, and a guy in shorts with a nice tat there. Yeah, that's just great. Apparently, they don't like Zell's uh, hoverboard there. What the hell, man? We work for you. Uh, yeah, so? Oh, whatever. Alright, alright. Man, these guys are still jerks. You'd figure since we were being paid now, they'd stop treating us like jerks, but I guess not. We're going to Timber to support a resistance faction against the evil empire. Just like every other Final Fantasy game. Sounds like a plan. I never get tired of fighting evil empires. Now remember what he's telling us there. But the owls are still around. Remember that phrase for later. It's a password. It's a secret password. Okay, so we just gotta follow their orders and do whatever they tell us. But I... Uh, well, yeah, they can't uh, put put more than three party members at a time. Oh, okay. The, apparently the Resistance has little money. And, yeah, so they can only afford to pay three of us at a time. So, well, at least they came up with a somewhat reasonable excuse for why we can't have more than three party members at a time. 
Huh, looks like I'm gonna be the leader of this group with Selfie and Zell heading on over to Timber. Next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy VIII! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.